and welcome back to She Walks, She Paints. Thank you for joining me again on another walk. Today we're going up Benetty Hill, which is just across in Perth and Kinross, and it's a beautiful day, so hopefully we're gonna get some really, really nice views. It's a bit snowy and icy underfoot, but nothing we can't manage. So we'll head on up and see what we can find. Are we going up the hill? Hey, let's go. Makes it look so easy. It's not a snowball, it's a real ball. Come on. At 1,168 feet high, Benity Hill isn't a big climb, but it does offer some amazing panoramic views from the top especially on a day like today. on your posies.
this first summit is known as the Sea Mark. Apparently this hill can be seen from the Forth and made a useful landmark for sailors steering up the river. The origin of the stone is unknown, but it marks this important spot. <laughs> yeah. Again, he says. From this side we can look down on Loch Leven below. Loch Leven Castle, which sits on one of the islands, is a 14th century castle where Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned and forced to abdicate the throne in 1567. I love the contrast between the cold, crunchy snow underfoot and the bright sunshine beaming down with a spring-like warmth.
this is as far as you can come along the ridge of Benity Hill. I've reached the end point here, but I've got some amazing views behind me. Hey Jack! Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> he just wants us to get moving again. What a day! Amazing. So I think we're going to have a bite to eat and then we'll probably start heading back down again. I love this landscape a lot. It reminds me a lot of the northeast of England where I'm from and a place called Hadrian's Wall which is an old Roman wall that goes across the country. Just some of the landscape formations reminds me of that. It's just super epic in the snow. It's very Tolkien-esque as well which is good because that's one of my favourite books. Hey pups, ready to go? Let's go! So we're nearly down back below the snow line now and it's really warm today, it's crazy, it's been so nice. Uh, but it means the snow is starting to melt, it's all getting a bit slushy down here. So hopefully that means there'll be some more stuff revealed that I can take some photos of. taken. Yes. 
Thanks for joining me again on this walk. We had a great day, got some amazing views up on the top of the hill. We've just come down to Kinross, which is a village on the side of Loch Leven, um, to have a coffee and a cake and a bit of a look at the view. There we go, that's Benetty Hill, that's where we just were. So we'll definitely be coming back here to Loch Leven in the summer. Not sure if we'll be walking, we might do a bit of kayaking, but we'll leave that for later in the year when it gets a bit warmer. This area is a viewing point for an RSPB nature reserve. I spoke to a gentleman called Peter who was watching a short-eared owl flying over the reeds in the distance. He also pointed out the small birds called reed buntings in the branches just next to where we were standing, named because they prefer to roost in wet or marshy areas where they can stay safe from predators at night. I didn't bring my big camera out with me today, however Peter is a brilliant amateur photographer and was kind enough to share these wonderful photos with us. One reason that I like using watercolour pens is that they are great for making small feathery marks, which I then soften and blend with a brush.
purposefully started with the beard and left the twig until the end, as I didn't want the bright colour bleeding into the delicate grey-white feathers. It's a bit strange working on the two halves of the painting. One side is feathery and catching the full light, whereas the other half is shadowy and smoother. All my paintings are available as prints on Etsy, so please do check out my store. The link is in the video description below, as well as my Instagram and Ko-fi pages.